Happy holidays everyone and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Henry's homemade holiday banana buns. When most of us think of a banana we think of the funny image of an old person slipping and falling and breaking their hip. But what if I told you that a banana is also a delicious and nutrient-rich snack item that we can easily incorporate into our buns? Let's get started. We're going to start by peeling our bananas. You actually want to use older bananas because they're sweeter. These should be really sweet. In fact, in early silent movies, they preferred using old bananas to slip on because it was, you know, not only was it cheaper, but it was also they were slippier, or more slippy, slip, more slipperier. Okay. Just mash them up here. Two tablespoons butter. One and a half cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon baking powder. Okay, so the recipe I'm using actually calls for one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, but I've actually been dividing these by half. So a quarter minus a half would be a negative one quarter, or in other words, just put no salt. Two halves of a teaspoon vanilla extract. Um, I think I might have put food coloring by accident. Fuck. Okay, I think I got most of it out. Add in our flour. Add a quarter cup of milk. I don't have real milk, but I have half and half, so minus a half would be just one half. Now let's mix this baby up. Okay, so now we're going to just clump these into balls and then we're going to lay them out evenly on a foil lined cookie sheet here. You know, a lot of people don't realize that the game of golf was originally an indoor sport, but because of the Spanish flu outbreak in 1918, they experimented with doing it outside. And it actually turned out to be better because when it was inside, the balls would often break light bulbs and hit audience members in the face and shit. Okay, well, we're going to leave our buns in the oven for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, please enjoy this retrospective of every dish that we've made throughout this year here at Henry's Kitchen. Untouched gifts underneath the Christmas tree. There's a cobweb on the mantel where your stocking used to be. And there's an actor playing Santa for the children on his knee, making foolish empty promises he knows he'll never keep. But he has a flask full of whiskey. That he keeps in his merry old sack And he takes a little swig each time The manager turns his back Because Santa's nothing but an overweight Underpaid would-be thespian whore And it doesn't seem like Christmas anymore Okay, let's let these cool down a little bit And meanwhile, we can make our sugar mixture I've got half a cup of sugar here and I'm just flavoring it with some cinnamon and just stir it up. Now I'm basically just dipping my balls into the sugar mixture. And there we have Henry's homemade holiday banana buns. Merry Christmas.
Okay, well I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe and I'm very happy to announce that the long-awaited sequel to my first cookbook is finally out, Henry's Kitchen Cookbook Volume 2 at the link below. Still time to get it for the holidays. Thanks, and as always, a special thank you to the folks at patreon.com slash Henry's Kitchen for making these videos possible. Happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy. And there's a pile of unpaid collection notices scattered all over the floor. And it doesn't seem like Christmas anymore.